Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to continue the Comics Manager Docker and go over all the lovely options under Add Page. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video. I will try my best to keep it simple and short. Apologies ahead of time if I can't. So before I do anything, I'm actually just going to open, let's see, what page did I show you before? Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to open a page here. Open this one, because it's the least spoiler <laughs> type page. It's just very simple. Alright, so that, that's open. I have my comics manager. And we are going to go over add page. So there's a couple things we can do. So if we go down here to add page, there's something we can do called add new template. So we can either create that template or import the template. Because I've already imported my custom template file in here, this is loading. You can have multiple of these, it doesn't have to be just one. Maybe you have a template for a double spread that would be maybe labeled custom double spread kra, which is just a normal create file. You can put that in there. So I'm gonna show you how to add the template that you already have made. So we're gonna to go to import templates. So because this is already made under the, um, it's already in the project folder here under templates. So we go back to the pumpkin prints. We have all of these folders that are made by default. And then the one that we made in the last video in the templates, it added the custom page that I imported. So there are a couple things you wanna do. I'm gonna hit cancel here. When you make a new file, oops, hit cancel there. We're gonna make a new file. This is fine here. And we're gonna go to files. Um, we're actually going to create template from image. And we're gonna tell Creator where we want this saved. You can put it under comic templates, whatever you wanna do. I've already saved mine. I have actually have two because I tested this twice. Um, this is the most recent one. So I'm not gonna save this again, but this is what we can do. Actually, I'm gonna remove this one, yes. That way we won't get confused when I go to bring this in. So once you save your template, you can hit okay, and it'll show up here when you go to create um, a new file, which is here. This is my custom one. So when you make your own, it'll show up under this template group. And once you make that, you can do the add page, import templates. We have to go to the folder where Creative saves our custom ones. So that's gonna be under our lovely local disk here. We're gonna go to users, or whatever user name that you have, mine is Wednesday. We're gonna to go to app, and we're gonna to go to roaming and then Krita, and all the way down to templates and to the comic templates and we're gonna go to source. So the custom one is there. So we can click on that and hit open and Creator will automatically copy that to our templates folder so we never have to do this again. If you want to use a pre-made template that Creator already has, then we have to go back to the local disk to program files, down to, oops. If you want to add a template that Creator already has set up that isn't custom, we have to go back to our program files, which is this folder here. You go down to Krita, and then we're gonna go to the share, Krita. Go down to templates. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here for this to make sure I'm going to the right one. And to comics, and then to source. You can add any one of these. I'll just add, um, the manga one. So now we have two templates I can choose from for this project. And that's perfect. Another thing you can do if you don't want to add any of the pre-made templates and you want to create one from scratch but you don't want to make a new file, you can go to create template. You can name it here. So we'll just say new layout. We can set the DPI, the page height and width. You can change it to pixels, centimeter, millimeter. You can also adjust the margins and the bleeds. So the margin is going to be the outer edge and the bleed is going to be the inner, um, I'm sorry, 
Actually, I think I had that reversed. Let me actually change this to two. Okay, yes. So the margins are the inside line here and the bleed is the outside. I got those confused, mixed up, sorry about that. So that's what you can do. So let's say you have a specific margin that you are given to use in the specific bleed, you can change all that here. And if you need to, you can also set your background color. So we can just change that to this a turquoise gray kind of color. Hit OK and hit OK. So it's creating the template now. So we'll let that sit for a minute. When it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so for some reason, Korea did not want to save that template I just made. So I just kept everything default and threw in some letters and it saved it. So this may hiccup for you if you do create template. I'm not really sure what happened when I changed something. Uh, maybe the margin was too extreme. Um, I don't know. But that's how you can create a template without opening a new file and saving it and all that good stuff. So we're going to close this. We're going to go back to add page. So we just went through add page from template, which is the same as add page. So we hit cancel. And we're going to go to add existing pages. Now we briefly went over this with um, the, la the first video where you can just throw something in that you've already made. So we're actually going to do that right now because I have already created some pages that need to actually go in here. So I'm going to go to pumpkin prints, comic pages, work in progress, check two. None of these are in there right now. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, the first five of chapter two in here. We're going to hit open. So now we see we have chapter one, the last page, and all of chapter two that I selected is now in here. And that's how you can add an existing page. I personally have been doing this so I can keep track of what is done and what isn't done yet. You don't have to do that. You can put everything in here at once and then work on it individually as you go. We can also remove page. So let's say I want to add a page with template. We'll do custom Western and I'll say, okay, we'll wait for this to complete. So down here, you can see that it added a blank page from that template and it named it based on the project name, which is the pumpkin prints. So it is 003 because I made two of these already by accident <laughs> before I made the video. So this is great. So now I have this page in. I didn't open the actual file yet though. So if I double click on it, I'll open it. I don't really want to open it because it does take a few minutes, not a few minutes, but it takes a little while for it to open. So we're just gonna leave it alone. And let's say I'm like, okay, I actually don't want this page in here. So we can just make sure this is selected and hit remove page. Now, just to be careful, if you don't have the page you want removed selected, it will remove whatever else you've put in here. And I'm pretty sure I have accidentally removed one of these pages already. Now I'll have to go back through and figure out which one it is. Now we can also batch resize. So let's say all of these pages, they all are, all of them are the same size and everything already. But let's say I want to change the DPI. Maybe it's too high and I want to bring it down to 72 DPI. I will not be doing that because I don't want to do that. But this is something you maybe you want to do. Uh, maybe the width isn't big enough or the height and you can change that. You can do this without having to do it manually because let's face it, resizing 20 plus pages manually is a lot of work. So the fact that Create allows us to do this in a batch and not individually with the files is very, very nice. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't need to adjust any page sizes. Everything's fine as is. Okay, so I had to restart Krita because it crashed on me and it wouldn't let me open this, but now it does. So we're gonna go to add page and view page in window, which is one of my favorite features right now. So look at this. So first it brings it up into a whole nother window. We've got a lot of windows going on. We got the main window, the comic doc, doc Comics Manager Docker, and then this window. So as you can see down here, we have first, previous, single, next, and last. If I hit next, I can see my whole comic so far of how, of how I set it up within the project file, or project management. And I can go through and start scrubbing and taking a look at this and going, okay, I see my comic come to life now. I can see this is working, this isn't working what needs to be changed, what doesn't need to be changed. Let me scroll through here. 
because you don't need to see the spoiler. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's actually really nice. Now as a note, I did see that this is considered page one, like the cover. So if you have double spreads, the way this is going to preview it is not going to be like how it's actually going to print, obviously. Um, the way I have it set up, I don't have a cover page in here right now. I can look at this single page, so I can just say, I just want to look at the individual pages, or I can go back to the double spread, where I can see the pages side by side. I can go to the first, I can go to the last page, um, lots of stuff, you know, lots of stuff going on here, and I think that's fantastic. All right. So if you go down to add page and to scrape author info and scrape text for a translation, that should like remove stuff. For some reason, when I tried this out, it didn't do what I expected. Um, I hit scrape author information and went to the metadata and it added a ton of authors in here, but it kept the one I added. <laughs> um, so I would just go and manually like get rid of information in the project settings if you don't want that in when you go to share this project file with anybody else. And that's basically it for the add page option in the comics manager. We will go over the exporting and the copy location and all that good stuff in the, in the final video. So we can wrap this up and make it a little easier to digest because exporting will be very interesting. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I hope it was helpful. As always, if you as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And make sure to like and subscribe so I don't miss you in the next video.